Hey everyone, it's Megan with Bubber Bee Studio. Today I'm working with the Stretch Your Imagination um, Cricut cartridge, and I am going to make this really cute um, ice cream cone, and I'm going to make it into a card, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm not using the card function, I'm just going to make this into a card, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. First, I have a piece of brown um, cardstock, really simple and easy. I'm going to just basically clear my screen here, and I'm going to push my Fit to Page button. I'm also going to select my ice cream cone, which is the second button. I'm not going to shift it or anything. It's just going to be my ice cream cone. And then I'm going to select my shadow feature. So let's just press shadow right there. And I'm going to press cut. And it's going to tell me in my screen how big it'll cut. It's going to cut at 10 and 3 quarters. You need to remember that. So we need to remember 10 and 3 quarters is how big it's going to cut. Now you can make this any size you want to. I'm just choosing to make it as big as I can with my 12 by 12 paper. Um, just because I think it'll be cute to do a really big card like this. So um, it's going to be for a little kid's birthday. And, you know, they always like big cards and special cards like that. So that's why I'm doing this. So we're going to let that cut. And then I'm going to take a piece of purple and a piece of pink cardstock. I'm going to leave it on the same paper, same page. Now I'm going to turn off my fit to page. I'm going to go to... 11 inches and you know what I just realized I'm going to need to switch the my orientation on this so by that I mean I have to put my purple and pink going this way landscape instead of portrait like it was because of how this is going to cut out for me So, there that is, pink first, purple next, and I am going to 11 inches, even though it said um, 10 and 3 quarters was the size of my, you know what, I'm going to do it at 10 and 3 quarters. I lied to you, 10 and 3 quarters is the size of my ice cream cone, so I'm going to make these 10 and 3 quarters. I'm going to hit my layers button, this is the layers button on here, it does the little top of the ice cream and the cherry. Um, 10 and 3 quarters, I'm going to hit repeat last. It's going to bring up my ice cream cone. And cut. Now it's going to cut out my cherry first. And once it's done cutting out my cherry, I'm going to press stop. Because I don't want it to cut out um, the ice cream cone in the pink. I want the ice cream cone to be purple. So I'm going to have to hit repeat last. And I'm going to have to move it back so that it cuts the full amount. And... It'll cut my cherry first, and then it's going to cut my ice cream cone. So, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to put it all together. All right, so now that I have everything cut out, I just have to put it together. Um, I did cut out a little um, scallop. These were already previously cut out. These are just little scallops that I cut out from Home Accents, I think. And um, I'm going to use that for a little stamp that I'm going to put on the card. But anyway, um, first thing I need to do for my card is make sure I have it lined up correctly. And I'm on the reverse side of my card about a half inch from the top. I'm going to use my little Provo craft score and score the top line. And then I will be able to fold that to put my glue on. So right above that little score mark, I'm going to use my Zig 2A glue pen. Um, this is the small chisel tip. And I am going to just fill in my top line. Quick reminder with the Zig 2A glue pens, um, when it's blue and wet, it um, and you adhere it to another surface, it is a um, permanent hold. When you wait for it to dry and it's clear, it becomes a temporary hold and you can um, unstick it and remove it. So um, it's on there. I have my little flap and you can now fold it up and it you can write on the inside of your card. You can even fill it in um, with um, cut out another um, layer just like this purple one and make it white and then you could have a white interior to write on if you need to. Um, I'm going to use a silver um, metallic pen to write on the inside so it'll be fine. So that's on there and I'm going to um, put my cherry on and I'm make sure I have the right way. Use my glue pen and just circle around there. Fill it in real good. Um, when you're using a two-way glue pen, you do have to work kind of fast because 
of, um, you know, when it dries, it, it's not as permanent of a hold. So I put my cherry um, right at the line um, for my fold so that it doesn't mess up the cherry, but it kind of accents it. So that's that. And now I'm going to tie a little purple ribbon around the bottom. And because of the shape of this, I'm going to actually flip this card over. And on the back of my card where I want this to be, I'm going to tape it down. Only because I don't want it to slip off. So I'm just going to use a little piece of tape on there. Not a big deal. And then I'm going to just full, uh, tie my little bow on the corner side here. Just hold it down. It's slipping. Sorry, my fingers are sticking from the glue. I've been using it all day. And now I'm not sticking to everything but what I want to stick to. Okay, so gluing it around, tw uh, twirling it around, knotting it up real tight and cute like. You can make it into a little bow knot or however you want to do it. I'm just going to do it like this and cut off my little tail ends. And then from there, I have my birthday wishes stamp from my Paper Tray Ink Mega Mix Messages. I have um, my Ink It Up Cotton Candy Color ink pad. I'm just going to stamp right in the center here of my little scallop birthday wishes. I'm going to pull out my little Zots glue adhesives, my 3D Zots. I like my Zots a lot. And just pull it around. I'll stick it right on there. Peel it up. I could use two if I need it to, but I'm just going to use the one. And I'm going to stick it right over my little bow and let my bow come in there. Real cute luck. And the very last thing I'm going to do is use some of my glitter glue. And I'm going to just dabble in here a few really cute little dots right in the center of each of my little ice cream scallops here and uh, that'll be it I hope you enjoyed watching if you have any questions as always feel free to contact me above rubystudio.com and I will see you again soon thanks for watching bye